Hello everybody, in the previous video we have seen URL connection and its example. In this video we are going to learn reading and writing using URL connection. We are going to use CGI script in the program. That's why before starting the actual program, let's take a look at the CGI. CGI stands for Common Gateway Interface. It is used to create dynamic content. As you might know, HTML is used to create static content or static page. Hence, the static page doesn't change based upon certain parameter, but dynamic content or page can change. CGI is a specification for transferring information between a server and a CGI program. A CGI program is any program designed to accept and return data that conforms to the CGI specification. The program can be written in any programming language such as Perl, C, Java. Let's start the program. First of all, we have to import certain classes. First one is URL connection. It resides in java.net package. Then second one is URL class. It also resides in java.net package. Then we have to import some other classes as well, but we will import it as and when required. Now it's time for the class. Let's name it read write URL connection. Then main method public static void main string array argument now before moving forward let's save this program read write URL connection dot java now we have to create URL object then we have to pass URL in string in our case we are testing it in local machine hence I will write URL of local host HTTP double forward slash localhost then my local host is running on port number 8080 then path of CGI script then name of the CGI script then we need a URL connection in order to make connection let's name it con in order to create URL connection we have to call open connection method of URL class it will return URL connection but before moving forward as we know that this URL might throw malformed URL exception and this open connection might throw IO exception. Hence we have to handle both. Let's write all the statement in try catch. First of all we handle malformed URL exception. Then simple message e dot get message then a similar cat statement for IO exception. We just have to replace malformed URL exception with IO exception. Then we have to cut paste it. Now coming to the actual operations, first of all we will write it to a server or more specifically to CGI script and then we will read response from the CGI script. In order to write to a URL, we first have to set do output to true. Its default value is false. If you don't know about do output, then I will give you short intro. It's a data member of URL connection. Its default value is false. It allows writing to a URL. If you want to know more about data members of URL connection, then you can check it out my previous video of advanced Java. I will give link of that video in description. Now coming to the program. How to set do output to true. So we have to call set do output. 
and pass do outputs value you know in this case it's true then we need get output stream to write to a server so we have to call get output stream then we have to pass this output stream into print writer let's name it pw then print writer then using this print writer we can write it to a url or server or cd script in our case here i am passing my name then close method now we have to read response from the cgi script in order to read we need input stream and in order to get input stream we have to call get input stream method of url connection let's call it we want to read it using buffered reader hence we have to pass this input stream into input stream reader then we will pass this input stream reader into buffered reader constructor now we can read it using this buffered reader object we need a string to hold a line from the response then while loop to iterate over all the content of the response we have to call read line it will read a line from the response and we have to check for null whenever this line is null we will end our loop here we simply have to print line then at the end we simply have to close pr let's take a look at the cgi script this is actually a perl script we will not go much in detail just an overview this statement simply specifies path to the perl interpreter then this statement sets the content type to text html sets the http header then this new line is compulsory it differentiates between content and the header then this line reads standard input name variable will get vishnu then this statement simply removes unnecessary spaces then this statement simply prints your name is and the name that we have passed then exit let's import the classes that we have used but haven't imported in .NET package malformed URL exception then in java.io package we have to import print writer then we have to import input stream reader then we have to import buffered reader then we have to import io exception let's save this program and execute it java c rw dot java rw url connection dot java then before running the program just check that your server is already running if haven't then start the server tomcat now let's run We got our output, your name is Vishnu.
If you don't know how to configure Tomcat for CGA script, then comment down below so that I will make an article or video on that topic. In the next video, we will see another topic of advanced Java. Until then, this is Vishnu Radhanpura signing off. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe us. Please press the bell icon for latest updates. If you like this video, then please press the like button. Goodbye.